In this video, we'll write the name for NH3. This is very common. You'll see this quite a bit in chemistry. So NH3 has its own name, and you really just have to memorize it. That's ammonia. So most often, when you see NH3, it'll be called ammonia. But there is another name we could use. We could look at the periodic table and see that nitrogen right here, nitrogen and then hydrogen, they're both nonmetals. So we have two nonmetals. That means we have a covalent or molecular compound. So we can use these rules to write the name for NH3. So first we write the name for both elements. We have nitrogen and then hydrogen. We take the second element and we change the ending to IDE. So we'll cross this out and write IDE. So now we have nitrogen hydride. Finally, we'll write prefixes. We'll put those in front of each element based on the number of atoms present. And we use this chart here for the prefixes. So nitrogen, we just have one nitrogen atom. But for the first element, we don't write mono when we only have one. So this will just stay nitrogen. For the hydride, for the hydrogen, we have three of those. So we're going to write tri in front of the hydride. So the name for NH3 is nitrogen trihydride. You have three hydrogen atoms, and just because we have nitrogen by itself, we only have one. This is a less common name. It's still valid. Mostly, you're going to hear NH3 called ammonia. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.